Hi everyone, this is Natasha and I wanted to share with you a cute little table setting or uh, name place name placement at the table maybe for your Easter dinner. So what I did is I used the bakery box die from Lifestyle Crafts and this is what it looks like. And I did cut it with my cuddle bug so it fits fine in the width. So let me just show you a sample. I just cut this out of my favorite black cardstock. And this is nice heavyweight cardstock. I did not use a crease pad. I just used regu my regular uh, sandwich for my dies, uh, for the regular cuddle bug sandwich. So that's for thin dies, that's the A plate, C, and a B. And it cut fine. And you see there's perforations perfectly you could see right there so what I did is because this has a pattern side and a flat side when I went to cut it I first put the pattern side down because I want the pattern on the outside so that's just one thing you have to keep in mind so let me show you what I did um, the length of the die is long enough for you to use regular eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper so all you have to do is cut it into the Leave it at the 11 inch, but cut it down to 6 inches wide to fit through the cuddle bug opening. And there I used a uh, cream color paper, or well, it's actually the ivory cardstock from uh, from um, Staples. And I cut that um, in my cuddle bug. Then I used some leftover papers that I had. Let me see if I have any scraps left right here. And that's. Um, King Company's K Sera Sera. I've had the same sheet of paper kicking around. This was a 12 by 12, and it's made. See, this is the reason why I don't throw out even little scraps because you can make all sorts of little things. So I freehand um, cut this little double side, double tag, with the ivory paper and the pattern paper, and put an eyelet in, and attached uh, this very pretty pink tulip seam binding, and I'll have a full list of all the Wilder Crafts products uh, in the description as well as a link to my blog where the entire recipe including all of the various products that I used and links whenever possible. So I'll have that link to my blog in the description. So I used a plethora of flowers and as you could see the paper was pink with green and just a tinge of some orange. So I grabbed the orange and the primary reason is because I had some of this packing material which I received from Fiskars when I got my signature scissors. Um, so I held on to it because I thought well, I could definitely recycle that or upcycle that for something else. So that's what I did. But let me just show you the Lifestyle Crafts die comes with not just the bakery box die but also these little labels. So there's two nesting labels and then there's two of these, a little oval and the decorative one. And I use the two nesting ones again in the ivory and in the pattern paper. And then on top of it, I attached one of these very pretty cameos. And it's pearlescent mauve pink, which matched the uh, paper perfectly. And this is the smaller size. There's also this larger size available. Let me show you the two of them next to each other so you could see them for comparison. So I put that and these are on dimensional foam so it gives you a little bit of depth, depth because I didn't want them to be too flat next to all of these flowers. So these orange large roses are from this um, assortment pack. There are five of each color. I think there's ten colors. So you have 15 a pack. So I used three of the larger ones. Then I also used these adorable sweetheart blooms which are also from an assortment pack and they're really sweet and dainty and they're a wonderful filler flower and then in addition I also used these itty bitty little 10 millimeter open rose buds open roses they're not buds they're the full roses and those are also from an assortment pack with various colors and sorry about the glare if you don't want to go kind of fancy schmancy rose root you can always pick up uh, some aster daisies which also come in a sort of colors match very nicely here as well. Let's see did I show you all and then the last thing that I did is I used one of these little stick pin leaves which is from the daisy wheel of leaves which comes in I think six different colors. There's also pear shaped flowers 
um, and hearts. Hearts I used for a Valentine's project. So there, I used orange. So let me show you what's inside, obviously, when you're doing yours. And you can put the guest's name on here, maybe with uh, tiny type letters, something like that. So it opens up like this. It's a fully functioning little box. Look, I have one of my chicken's eggs inside, nestled quite nicely. And it's actually a green egg. I know it looks a little bit like it's cream because it matches the ivory, but it's a nice depth box. Um, this size fits Giardelli squares, just in case you're looking for maybe a box, a uh, favor box for a wedding. That would work really nicely too. So the way that I attach the box, it all the flaps post, um, poke into each other. I did add red line tape because I knew this box was going to be open and closed. Oh, sorry about that. Open and closed and open and closed. So I used red line tape, which is very sturdy. And I added that to the flaps and then just pushed down. So there's my little... And this is from Nana Jana to this green egg. The blue ones are from Nugget. So there you go. There's my little favor box, which could use, could work as a very nice... Um, seating uh, favor for your Easter dinner. As always, if you have any questions, please don't forget to ask. Don't forget to thumbs up. Feel free to share if you feel uh, your friends would like to see this. You can post this on Facebook, your blog. You can tweet this out. Um, that would be greatly appreciated. There you go. Thanks for watching, everyone.